I was speaking with friends about uh, text messaging and how it is ruining the English language by way of abbreviations and shortening of phrases, etc. And uh, more globally, I wanted perhaps uh, insight, your insight, on what modern technology may be doing for the better or for the worse uh, as far as your trade is concerned. Well, it's, uh, it's all our own decision whether you are using text messaging or not. I do not. I do not have a cell phone. But probably because I made my first phone call when I was 17. <laughs> so, but um, no, uh, you, are, you are pointing to, to, to much deeper problems than text messaging. One of the problems is that nobody reads anymore. Uh, you do not, and, and I preach to, to those who attend the Rogue Film School, read, 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 read. You will never be a filmmaker if you do not read. Or you will never be a philosopher. You will never understand, get, get a hold on, of, uh, on the world, a grasp on it, if you do not read. And I have a dictum. Those who are too much on the internet or too much on television, they lose the world. And those who read, gain it. You win the world if you read. So and, uh, uh, that's one side. And, and even uh, I see it with a friend of mine who is professor for classics at Boston University. The students that are arriving nowadays uh, haven't read much at all and, and cannot articulate five coherent sentences in writing. So it's catastrophic. And uh, the, the absence of, of uh, culture of, of reading and, and reading books is, is something which is, a, is an overwhelming worldwide phenomenon and, and very, very, very dangerous. And of course, text messaging is, is only one of the bastard children of, of that absence of reading. And uh, in a way, it's uh, how, you, how you read the world, how you understand the world, how you uh, open concepts or perspectives about the world. And um, a second major thing, which uh, sounds like a paradox, but I think it is not, with the explosive evolution of technical tools of communication, and that is text messaging, uh, cell phones, television, radio, um, you just name it, internet, uh, blogs, um, whatever is, is out there. Uh, it has had an, an, an very almost explosive spreading out and, and uh, propulsion of these things. And in reverse proportions, I believe our solitudes are increasing. And you see it with the text messages. Yes, there is contact, but it's contact without significance. There's no depth about it anymore. We are not isolated, but in a philosophical sense, I think deeply alienated and, and deep in deep solitudes. And I do believe that these instruments of, of communication in its enormous uh, spreading power reduce us to solitudes. So that's, that's my take on it. And you do not need to use it. 